What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video, we're creating a simple sketch illustration of a hummingbird. For today's lesson, we'll be sketching on top of plain white sketch paper and using a black 4B pencil. Let's move to a side grip and sketch a small circle on the top left side of our page. Starting from the very top, we're just gonna lightly work our way around towards the bottom of our circle and then bring that back up towards the top. And we're just using these short choppy lines to readjust the shape of our circle. Now I want to sketch a smaller circle in the center for the eye. It's going all the way around. And then from the center of the eye, we're going to draw a straight angle line coming down towards the end of the tail. So we're just going to bring this down an angle to right about here. And then we'll round out the front edge of the body. Starting from the left side of the circle, come down. Just going to round this out and I'll tuck this in towards the bottom right side of that line. Let's go underneath the eye and draw a straight line going out towards the tip of the beak. And we'll taper that back in so it gets a little bit wider along the end. Now you want to separate the head from the body. So underneath that circle, we're going to step down, sketch a straight line going out towards that line. Let's go to the right side of the head, draw a straight angle line coming down towards the right side of that line. And then we'll add some thickness to the back of the body. From this point, we're going to step up, just follow that same angle line coming across to right about here and we'll just bend that down towards the end of the tail. Now you want to add some thickness to the bottom of the tail, starting down here, curve down, and then out towards the tip. Now I want to go back up and draw on the front wing. From this point, we're going to angle this up and out towards the top. And then from that same point, we're going to angle the wing coming down and out. Connect the top to the bottom with a straight angled line. Now the back wing is going to get tucked in behind the side of the head. So start up here, follow that same angled line going up towards the same height. Now follow that same angled line coming down and in behind the front wing. Now that we have the basic structure of our drawing, let's go back and lightly erase some of these guidelines. Erase the bottom half of that circle and coming all the way down towards the tail. Now from here we're going to add a second level of detail. Let's start from the bottom of the beak. It's going to curve this in just underneath the eye and then bend that down towards the back. Now you want to bend the center line starting back over on the left, curve this down and then up. Now you want to add a slight bend to the top of the wings. Let's start over on the left, go up, and then out towards the tip. Go to the bottom, going up, and then out. Let's add a slight bend to the right side of the wing. From the top, come in, and then go out. And then on the right side, going around, and then down towards the bottom. Let's go back and erase some of these guidelines. Now I'm going to go back and add a trim around the eyes. From the left side of the circle, we step out, curve this up above the eye, and then back down on the right. And then from the left side, we're going to curve this down underneath the eye, and then back up. Now we're going to go back in with the tip of our pencil and start adding some details starting with the eye. Starting from the very top, I'm just going to trace that circle along the outside. Add a small highlight circle on the top left. And a smaller one along the bottom. And I'll trace the eye along the inside going in behind the highlights. And it will darken up the center.
and then slightly shade the outside of the eye, again going in behind the highlights. And we're just going to work our way around the eye, just adding a little bit of shape to that trim. Now with the side edge of our pencil, we're just going to lightly shade in the inside. And then darkening up the left side. And just pulling that in towards the eye. Now from here, we're just going to work our way out towards the beak. Starting with that trim. And tracing the outside, coming down towards the point. And we'll darken up the inside of the beak. I'm just going to leave a little bit of a highlight along the top edge of the beak. So we're just going to darken up the bottom and then just fade that out. Now I'm going to go back and just readjust the height of the head. Just pulling it down a little bit lower in that circle, and then working our way towards the back. I'm just going to round out the bottom of the head, just underneath the beak. Just bring that in toward that center line. Then we're just going to add some small curves going across this line just to give the impression of some feathers. Let's go back and darken up the bottom edge of the head on the left side and then just fade that out as we come down. And we'll add some light shading across the top of the head, just working our way across, going above the eye, using these short lines. And we'll just bring that down across the back of the head. back and just refine the edge of those feathers along the bottom and we'll just work our way back up and in underneath the eye. Now at the side edge of our pencil we're just going to add a little bit of texture across the head. Darken up the back of the head, again using those short lines. And then with the tip of our pencil, we're just going to add some texture to the feathers. Now from each of these points, we're just going to curve this up and then out towards the left, aiming towards the beak. Starting off with a light line. And we'll shade in the bottom. And we'll separate each of these sections with a light curve. And 
going back and just darkening up each of those curves. I'm going back and just refining those feathers. We'll go back and just darken up that shadow across the left side. Now from here we're just going to work our way around the front wing, starting with that outside edge, going all the way up towards the top, and then just lightly work our way around the outside. And we'll just round out the bottom corner, and just fade that in towards the body. Let's go back and lightly shade the inside of the wing, And then with the side edge of our pencil, we're just going to add a ridge along the top. Just want to add a little shadow. Going all the way up and out. And we'll just fade out that shadow. Now before we add any more detail, we'll go back and just trace out the left wing. And again, just shading that in with the side edge of our pencil. And just darken up the bottom. Now from here, we're just going to separate each of the feathers. Using the side edge of our pencil, it's going to follow the same curve of the wing going up and out leave a gap and just repeat this all the way down towards the bottom of the wing. I just want to start off a little bit lighter and we'll go back and add the details after. Now we'll go back and just refine the shapes. giving a little bit of shape to the outside of the wing, just rounding out each of the sections.
continue to add some more shape to the body. And separating the body from the tail with this light shade, going up towards the wing, and then we'll lightly shade in the inside of the body. Now with the tip of our pencil, I'm just going to add a little bit of fur texture along the outside. Just starting along that line, I'm just pulling these lines going out. And then from the edge of the body, we're just going to pull this up and in. Let's go back and just darken up the bottom edge of the body. And then we'll lightly fade that out. Let's add a shadow underneath the wing, coming down. Now we'll add a little bit of texture to the inside of the body. These little curves using the side edge of our pencil, just to give the impression of some feathers and fur. We'll go a little bit heavier along the bottom. Now with the tip of our pencil, we're just going to go across the body with these short lines. Starting across the bottom of the neck, going towards the back, and we're just going to layer this. So just repeating that process all the way across. I'm just going to blend the wing in towards the body with those fur lines. And then we'll trace out the back going out towards the end of the tail. I'm just going to give the tail a little bit of a bend along the bottom. And then just taper that back in. And then just separate the sections of the tail. Now just darkening up the end of the tail and just feathering that in. And now we're going back and just darkening up the contrast around the body.
And I'm just going to add a few claws along the bottom. And as we get closer to the end of our drawing, we'll tighten up our contrast and clean up our lines. And that's pretty much it. There's a sketch illustration of a hummingbird. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. If you did, please make sure you subscribe because I'm posting new lessons every single day. You can also drop your request in the comments below. I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.